Hello, this is Matthew Fowler, the Georgia Department of Transportation's Office of Innovative Deliveries Program Manager for the I-285 at I-20 East Interchange Project. This project is part of Georgia DOT's Major Mobility Investment Program designed to improve safety and create additional capacity at some of the most heavily traveled locations throughout Georgia's metro areas. The project will improve the I-285 at I-20 East Interchange and I-20 East from the interchange at I-285 to Lithonia Industrial Boulevard. The heavy morning and afternoon commutes on this stretch of I-20 create congestion and travel delays. The interchange and I-20 along this section also experience a large number of vehicle crashes. The redesigned I-285 at I-20 East Interchange will provide more direct ramps with gradual curves that eliminate large speed changes and are easier and safer to drive. Lanes will be added to some of the more heavily traveled ramps as well as to northbound I-285 and the exiting I-20 eastbound collector distributor system between the interchange and Wesley Chapel Road. The collector distributor system provides extra travel lanes parallel to and separated from the main travel lanes to move vehicle lane changing away from the high-speed traffic on the freeway's main travel lanes. This helps to improve traffic flow, speed, and safety at interchange areas. The project will also add a new collector distributor system along I-20 westbound between I-285 at I-20 East Interchange and Wesley Chapel Road to improve traffic flow and safety similar to the existing collector distributor system on eastbound I-20. The following visualization video provides aerial views of the project's improvements. The key map on the right of the screen traces the location of the camera as it first travels eastbound for six miles along I-20 and then northbound for just over two miles along I-285. Notice the black colored pavement, which represents new pavement. Most of the new pavement is for auxiliary lanes that will be added along both directions of I-20 and along northbound I-285. Auxiliary lanes are the extra lanes alongside the main travel lanes, which give drivers more time to merge in or out when entering or exiting the highway. The project will also rebuild seven bridges and widen two others to allow for the new lanes and wider shoulders. These bridges are designed higher and longer to accommodate future express lanes along I-20 and I-285. The project has been designed to minimize the amount of additional land required to construct the improvements and to reduce environmental impact. The project will not displace anyone from their home or business. A noise analysis has been conducted as part of the project to identify where noise barriers may be constructed to reduce noise impacts. Upon implementation, almost 11 miles of noise barriers may be constructed on the two interstates, an increase of more than six miles from what is currently in place. No existing noise barriers will be eliminated or shortened. Noise barrier locations will be finalized during the final design phase of the project in coordination with landowners and residents. The locations of the proposed noise barriers are shown in the noise report that is part of the draft environmental assessment document. The draft environmental assessment was prepared by Georgia DOT to evaluate the environmental effects of the proposed project. You can find the draft environmental assessment on the public meeting website along with the contact information for submitting a comment or question. Thank you for watching this video and for your interest in the I-285 I-20 East Interchange Project.